Aspen air handler. Heat pump, apartment. What happened to the air conditioning? My apartment is hot. I don't have any air conditioning. Today I'm going to talk to you about what's wrong with this Aspen air handler and I'm going to show you something that happens a lot. I've changed a lot of these relays and if you have this issue you're going to already know what's wrong or you're going to know where to look first. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Turn the thermostat on cooling. Run it down. Outdoor unit had a code low pressure. And if you ever have this type of air handler, then I can show you what the problem is most likely. See this? That right there is a relay for this motor. See how the motor's not running? But you can hear the outdoor unit has kicked on. I'm going to show you something real quick. Check this out. Okay, take this wire, kind of push on it. You gotta be careful. Kind of go back and forth. Well, well. You can hear something? Hear it? Oh, now the blower's kicked on. Notorious for failing. Oh, blower slowed back down and stopped again. So we got voltage to the coil, but this little relay has failed. So if you ever have one of these Aspen air handlers, then I'll show you what's bad. So if you check from brown to the green wire, that is your coil. Should have 24 volts upon a call for cooling or fan. And then it closes a set of contacts and energizes the X13 motor. Motor's good because you can see it run, but this right here is the problem. All right, see? Now it's running again. I'm gonna take this out and install a relay. So I may install this heat sequencer here in place of this because that's all this is is a heat sequencer see the numbers uh, c65 115 h24 volt coil all right i'm gonna take this out let's go take a look at the outdoor unit so the indoor fan is not running outdoor unit is look at the suction pressure that's definitely no bueno, no bueno for 410A. Head pressure is 350, low, or high side pressure is 350, low side pressure is 60, in between 60 and 65. That should be at least 100. And what's gonna happen is, we are gonna have a five flash, five red flashes. It's gonna be a system in low pressure switch lockout. So those are, there's a low pressure switch, and it is going to open and then we're going to have a a little led flash five times after that see we got a board here and that's what i had i had to take the 24 volt wire plug off so that i could reset it and get it to run and then the indoor fan was running and all i did was just wiggle the wire set relay because i've run into this before that screw loose that means now I should be able to well got bend this upwards here there we go okay so yeah we just got looks like we just got um, okay there's two wires over here so I may not be able to install just that regular sequencer, but I may be able to install this 9340. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the coil wires off first. So coil wires, 
are green. And then a bunch of browns. Wow. Look at all that. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mount my 9340. First, I need to look at it. One, three. Okay. Okay. Make sure we got enough room. All right. Now I'm going to mount. Any more? Any more coil bars? I can't see if there are. All right. Now, I've got three more wires. I need to look at the diagram uh, and make sure I know which one goes where. Okay. Well, there's a black. And it goes to one. The red goes to three. Okay. Black. And goes to one. Can we see which one is one on there? All right, let me go ahead and put that on there. All right. Oh, all right. Black goes to one over here, and then I got red and gray. And red went to three, and gray went to two. So. Gray goes to the middle, and then red goes to three. All right, now we gotta put another screw in this, but for now, I'm gonna leave it like this and make sure that everything works properly. So we're gonna use that 9340, but I'm gonna make sure it works before I do anything else. So there's that old little what was it called blower time delay all right now turn breaker back on all right turn this back on all right check thermostat turn the fan on fan runs Turn the fan off. Fan cuts off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mount that in place and then put the door back on and test it in cooling mode. All right, got it mounted properly. Uh, self tap 516 screws. Got it away from everything. So let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Turn it on cooling. It's on cooling, put on about 68. We're gonna check the delay, up and down arrows, same time. Scroll to number 15, it's a five minute delay. The board has a delay outside, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna make it one minute. All right. Now, moment of truth. Fans running, good deal. Go check the pressures. That's the pressures we're looking for. Low side, 125. High side, a little over 350. Looks like we're at 360. Excellent. I love it. Put it back together. Not a lot of room between the outdoor unit and this wall. It's hard to get that screw back in, but I put it back in anyways. I try to always scoot the condensers out, outdoor units out a little bit from the wall, especially if I have trouble getting the screw in for the corner panel. So here's the power for that motor. We've got our L and our N, which is our 240 volt provided. And then we got our G, our ground. And then we've got our brown wire, which is the C, which is common. So C and three right here, this green and black wire, they'll be 24 volts between C and three, and that's provided whenever this relay closes. And you
you can see right there that's the three and from one to five those are different speed taps so here's our relay and you got C brown and green so that's a call for a fan you get 24 volts here and then it closes this and that is that provides our 24 volts take a moment pause the video and you can look at this diagram that outdoor unit was new the indoor air handler was new and this is a common part that I have to replace on a regular basis sometimes I order the part but right now it's pretty hot and I'm not gonna make this guy wait says he's got COPD says he needs oxygen and he uses that oxygen machine and I do not want to wait for a part to come in and then have to drive one hour to come back because this is an hour drive almost so I took the 9340 relay put it in no more time delay who cares that guy's got air conditioning way to go Taddy so you can wait for a part you can get it under warranty or you know what relays don't cost that much I know the units only like little over a year old but I'm not waiting for a part I'm not driving an hour back because that's two hours drive time hour here hour back no way Jose thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something let me know in the comments if you've ever had to replace one of these relays on one of these Aspen indoor air handlers thanks so much for watching if you got a question put it down in the comments if you don't have a question let me know who you are let me know where you're from before you leave hit the like button subscribe and smash that bell thing so you know what I'm doing I've got a bunch of videos on my playlist HVAC tips for technicians if you're wanting to learn more and I've also got members only videos so click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments. I'll give you my email and then go check out all those members only videos on my members only playlist. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.